All right, what's going on? Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are getting ready to have an awesome week. Um, and so why are we talking about gun control on a fitness website? Great question. So years ago, I started TMAC Fitness, probably eight years ago now, with a very simple mission statement to assist in creating a culture that's conscious of the body and the world in which we live. And so for the past eight years, all we've been talking about is the body size, right? The fitness, uh, the mental approach, those type of things. And that's what 90% of this will always be about, right? I'm by no means an expert on gun control, public safety, any of that. But we do the other part of this mission statement, the culture in which we live, is going through a crisis right now and uh, protecting our kids in the school system. So it didn't feel right not talking about it. So I'm sure a lot of you probably right now are gonna cancel your memberships. That's fine. Uh, I am, this is much bigger than me. This is much bigger than TMAC Fitness. Uh, so for those of you that do wanna join me in the discussion, I'm gonna give you a link here in a bit to uh, just a simple proposal that I put on my personal Facebook page. And it's simply just to start a conversation. You know, I've been blessed to have such, my, a friend of mine shared this with me once before. He said that, son, your son, he called me son. He's, he's like an uncle, Mr. Steve. He's like, you're the son of your life experiences, right? And I've had such a unique uh, upbringing coming from a small rural town in North Florida. Uh, my dad was a police officer. My brother is a police officer. I killed my first deer when I was 11, probably my first rabbit. I was six or seven. Uh, my little nephew just killed his first deer at six. You can say I was a late bloomer. Uh, I have a shotgun in my house. We grew up with guns under the bed, gun safe everywhere. My, like I said, my dad was a cop. He had two or three guns on him all the time. So I grew up all around that environment. Uh, and as times have changed a little bit, we've got to be aware of that, right? And I think the one thing we can all understand and come to agreeing is, the agreement on is that what's happening right now is not acceptable. Um, and then we all want to protect our kids, right? So. It's so, it's so interesting, right? In California, I'm usually around uh, more of the Democrats. When I go back to Florida, now I'm living in Nashville. It's mainly a lot of us are Republican, even though I think Nashville could actually be a Democrat. Anyway, what I can share with both of you from both sides is that both, the majority of both sides are awesome people, and they want to make sure that our kids are protected. We just have different ways of going about that. And so hopefully this is, TMAC Fitness can be a way to start a conversation that's respectful. Um, and so... I think it really ties into a lot about what we always talk about, and that's in the part of the meditation, right, where you allow yourself to connect and ground yourself, right? Each workout that we do, right, we always end with a brief meditation, um, and this is like really where it, it, the rubber meets the road, so to speak, because listening to someone who has a different opposing view of yours, first it feels like they're attacking you and everything you know to be true, and so as you progress, um, with your meditation, what you'll eventually realize is you'll be able to kind of remove yourself almost like an outer body experience, like from the situation and look down and above. And what you see is that this other person may be very passionate, but ultimately they're a human being and they want to see their kids safe as well. They just have an opposing, a different view. So what I would encourage you to do is you decide to participate in this discussion. You know, it's a simple old saying, right? Is that God gave us two ears and one mouth. Just listen twice as much as you speak. Maybe you'll learn something. Um, and again, the reason this proposal is out there is simply because it didn't feel right just sitting back on the sidelines on this. And what normally happens, right, is, you know, the right gets, jumps on the liberals for saying it's too soon to talk about all this. Uh, and then the, the left side jumps on the right saying the guns are the problem. And no legislation ever happens because all we do is attack each other. So... Like I said, if this becomes a platform where we can have respectful dialogue and listen to each other, wow, that would be an amazing thing to happen. It, I mean, I would truly be blessed and honored for that to happen uh, with this platform. So what I wrote was a simple proposal. It's not anywhere close to being 100% perfect, right? There's a lot of issues. It's not, like I said, there's loopholes in every situation. It, you're, I'm asking both sides to compromise. If there's a better solution out there, I'd love for you to write it. Um, again, this is not me forcing my ways on you at all. Uh, I'm just like I said, I'm in a unique position where I know the right really well, and I know the left really well, and I know that we all want the same thing, and that's peace and safety for our kids. So again, we'd love for you to join this conversation. Uh, again, be respectful of everyone on there. Again, try to listen more than you talk, and uh, hopefully together as a community, we can help make a positive change 
and God bless you. Uh, it's not easy out there in that environment. So thank you for tuning in. I wish you uh, an awesome week. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Know that we're here to support you. Um, but again, I, I know this is like at work, they don't talk about these issues and they want you to avoid them. And you end up going back to your group, your clique, right? Who agrees and thinks just like you do. And then you bad mouth the other group behind closed doors. And a, a business where you work is, is ultimately you break it down as a group of people. And so hopefully, uh, again, this is a platform where you can express and listen and learn. And again, we can hopefully uh, be that one culture that makes a more perfect union. So thank you again. God bless. Have an awesome week. Talk to you later. And this is an awkward pause because I couldn't find the mouse in the cursor. All right.